What's up, folks? Samurai King 8 is here today with a mic and a new camera, which I'll see you already guys doing already. Voice kind of sound weird, like I'm sick. But anyway, this is a One Piece chapter 867 review. Bruh, this shit was kind of dope. It's kind of dope. Um, we got a bit more information, so I mean, nothing too crazy happened. But um, three things I saw that happened here that was really, really important with Big Mom as a character was um, her killing. Yorel, I guess I say his name, being exiled, and then her freaking, no, 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 found out Mother Caramel wasn't shit, and was an orphan seller, and then at the end, everybody disappearing, so that's pretty much like the chapter there, that's pretty much like basically all of the backstory we have for Big Mom from when she was like, I think five or four, till now six, or, she's six, and it's her birthday, and also my birthday too, 24, okay, what's up, um, <laughs> but first here, let me talk about this though. Cavendish. I like this little thing they're doing with Cavendish. We see his crew. He got a bad bitch there beside him on his side. I don't know about this whole George Washington looking shit they got put on. Or maybe French. I don't know which of the two it is. But um, I don't know about that look. But dude started from somewhere at the bottom. The boy had 74 underlings and just 500 million berries to start with. And I'm like, damn, just 500 berries. Like 500 million, like that ain't enough. Like, a small loan of a million dollars type shit, <laughs> but um, we know he had to get, he got basically exiled from his land too because he was, I guess, too good looking some shit like that. So, uh, and he became a pirate. Okay, all right. So that makes sense, I guess, for that island. But um, I'm gonna talk in detail too about Big Mom having her first big freak out, uh, for the Samela, I think how you say it, and uh, her killing old boy. Uh. Yorel or Fallbeard. I don't know. I, I think it's Yorel because they kept saying he's dead. So I'm guessing it's her. It's him. And uh, she flipped this motherfucker by the beard and landed him straight on his head. So you know he had a concussion and everything and just died. And I was like, that was fucking crazy. And then she broke that fucking blade, which was nuts. So we get to see here that like like her, her, her first rage moment of like shit like that where she killed this dude didn't even know about it. it was like, you know, she killed her son, didn't even know about it. Now, the problem with when she killed her son is when everybody told her that she did that, she didn't really give a shit. And the big thing about all this that happened was Lady Caramel showing us Zeus. No, no, Prometheus. Sorry, that's Prometheus. And um, she basically summoned him from the fire and 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 turned him into the sun. And that we, that we know is now Prometheus. But, um, Nobody really like thought anything of it. Like they, they were like, like, "Oh, it's a miracle! What is she?" Like, no, it's the sun god has made all right. It made everything all right. I guess that was she meant to say. And I was like, "Okay, so what?" <laughs> I was a little lost with that. So I mean, I know we found out later on that about her being a liar and all that shit. So I'm thinking maybe she was lying about that. Like maybe she, because I'm like I don't think she created like the sun god story. Cause I'm like, I'm like the people, the these people are giants on ale bouts. Like they've been around for hundreds of years. They went to all of a sudden start believing this chick just who just rolled in there probably maybe 50 years ago. So I'm like, what the fuck? So um, that was weird. And we see that that's her power. So I don't know if it's a devil power. I don't know if it's something that she just can do. If she's like a witch or something, because we do know that's her nickname, the uh, Mountain Witch. So we'll we'll figure out why that is maybe at some point. I don't know, but um. She basically sacrificed herself and said, hey, look, don't kill uh, Lin Lin or uh, Charlotte or Big Mom because um, I can just take her and leave the island. And you know, you would know, we know she did that because she thought that she could be like a, a, a fleet admiral all that shit. She could freaking give max protection to the Timber Ruby Thumb. It's, imagine, imagine it's Big Mom was a fucking Marine. That would be trouble on day. Like, picture her in Marine for Woo! Mm -mm -mm. Uh, anyway, I mean, but her ass is crazy anyway, so it wouldn't have probably worked out. I mean, hey, I mean, a kind was fucking crazy, but I don't know. Whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, so she's making an excuse. Mother Caramel got her, and then all the kids follow her too, which was convenient for her ass because she was she's selling fucking kids. And um, then we see Big Mom wake up, she crying, and it's like, oh my god, I can't believe he died. What happened to Fallbeard? Um, and um, yeah, okay, I'm just reading something else. Okay, and then like all the giants hate her still, so we know that's why they hate her, and we you know the, the marriage shit too. The, the the marriage shit that she tried to pull with um with the twins. I can't think of their name now. Um, but 
yeah, that's what we get. And then we see them in the house, and then we see them celebrate her birthday, and I was just playing good. And then this, we got the big reveal that Mother Camille has been selling kids for, let's see here, 50 years. And 37 years ago, she, she pulled a fast one on Marines and snuck into the Elbow to, for hiding and everything. So 50 years, 50 years, she's been selling kids to, um, what do you mean, just selling them? Like, she, uh, the kid's slaver for 50 years. Cause I, thought, I thought when she was saying that, I was like, oh, she's, um, she, she, she was uh, enslaved herself. I thought that what she was saying, but I looked at it again. Like, oh, hell no. She's talking about enslaving the other kids. Like, oh, my God. But it is some cool bits. Like, I do like seeing the CP0 there. They're negotiating with her. Uh, I wonder who they are. I mean, I, I don't think they old boy's dad from um, CP9. Uh, Spa Dom. I don't think that's his dad because his dad was in CP9 and was useless. <laughs> and um, we also see that she said because of her connection, she made John Giant a Marine, which I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. I'm like, okay, you've been running from Marines, and then you get a Marine? I'm like, okay, whatever. Maybe she did that, so it's like a little... They the Marines, they be in some shady shit. Shady shit all the time. So, um... So, then they pay her and say, okay, yeah, look, we're gonna pay you for her, and this is gonna be my last deal. When she said that shit, I'm like, her ass is gonna die. And then we got her underworld name, Mountain Witch. Which, wow. So, let me get Big Mom's birthday... And then they gave her this big ass cake thing that looked like the stuff that Jinbei gave her. Um, it's like Kori. I don't know how to pronounce that shit. I, when I I couldn't pronounce it when big, when Jinbei gave it to her. And then that was pretty much it. And then all these motherfuckers disappeared. Now this is the theory that that's been floating around. People think that she ate um, Mother Caramel and got her power. Now I'm thinking I'm like I don't know because she ate. Because she said she ate so much that she ate some of the table. And all the kids we see here are all around the table. So and big and Mother Cameron's on the other side of the table. And everything was like she, it was gone. Like when they when she when she opened her eyes from the, the heart and everything, everything was gone. The table was decimated, everything's gone. And that's a side this is taking a dark ass turn, uh older if you make this bitch accountable. <laughs> but um it's weird that we see see my thing is if she ate her. Why would we leave her just clothes on it? Because we'll see none of the other kids' clothes. It's everything just disappeared. Or maybe some some marine with a death fruit snuck in there and stole the kids to take them away from her because we know that she's evil. Maybe she vanished, like just eviscerated. I don't know. It's, it was just pretty crazy to see that she just disappeared like that. And, um, you know, she, we see at the end uh, singing, Where'd you go? I miss you so. Talking about mother and all that shit. You know that fucking scene, right? Yeah, talking about mother came in. He's just saying, where'd you go? And then we see Luffy there. Like, ugh. And I thought he was fucking down for the count, but I guess not. But, um, yeah, that's pretty sad that from when she was six years old, she was banded basically again because she got banded from her parents before. So, and then that's the end of the chapter. And then we have chapter next week, too. But, um, so, like, that's the biggest theory from there. That she ate either the kids and Mother Caramel or something just crazy happened because like I said we see the table is like de decimated so that's pretty crazy and I want to read some of these comics too because like that, that's why I was saying people think that she had um, eaten her and got her powers and it's, it's, somebody said do any of the orphan kids remind you of a marina power if not BM probably ate the big mom probably ate them all must have had been, okay wow what the fuck <laughs> so that was there too I'm like oh yeah man I'm like if she was trading Kids, I mean, some of these folks would be spies shit now. By the way, wait a minute, this was like 50 years ago. These motherfuckers old and all that shit. So, and then we see how drooling there too, which is interesting because this is the second time Oda did this. Because we know in Just Rose, he had ex Drake who probably could have some problems with Dofi because he killed his dad. Uh, but we know, I think Drake hated his dad. But, um, and then we see this. We, I mean, they didn't really turn into nothing because he never did help us and fight Dolphin and all that and thing. But he might like say, "Oh, I'll join you, Straw Hat Luffy, because you killed the guy who killed my dad." Oh, you know, you got my guy, got, got the guy who killed my dad arrested. Something like that maybe happened today. And then I truly might just be happy, like, "Wow, you you took down, you're trying to take down this this, this bitch." <laughs> so we'll see, because like you know, he he killed that, uh, she killed that guy, um, Urel or Fallbeard or whoever, whatever his name is. 
And we know how Julian was very upset about that. And then he was like, execute this bitch. <laughs> and I was like, wow. So, yeah. I, it's just weird to me. I, I can't see Oda going that route of the fucking cannibal. That her eating the kids. I mean, killing them is one thing. But eating them is woke. Like, like that's a term, uh, Oda. I don't know, man. I don't know. So, um, okay, let me read this comment. So, in the end, all we know is Mother Camel was in underground child broker and big mom is a crazy bitch who got abandoned on Elbaf and possibly killed mother Cameron and ate her devil fruit i don't think we need two chapters to to be told that could have been covered in a couple page spread lol that's kind of true from last week yeah but i mean two chapters is not bad for a um for a flashback of this cop because i mean i know laws was different but his fleshed out very deeply which i mean like i said he's different so, uh, and I think I said that then about them, that flashback, there should have been just one chapter. But I think that was because Dress Rose was just going off for so damn long. And this I don't mind, because two chapters, what, what the fuck? I don't care. And, uh, I mean, we ain't got no hint that we're done with the, with this fight anyway. So, we just got this little thing we kind of feel bad for, and, um, we'll see how this goes with Oda. But, I really enjoyed this chapter, man. Um, a lot of the information dumps. Hopefully next week, we get a lot of this shit resolved, and then we'll see what the fuck was going on with Sanji. And uh, stand on that table. I know that shit was pretty dope. And that's pretty much it. So I'm Samurai King 8. You guys have a great day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also just give me some thoughts and everything about what you think I should do, change up, and everything. Like I said, I'm still new to this shit. I'm still trying to get better. I'm trying to get a, a capture card. I'm playing some video games, maybe here on Twitch. So I'll link all that below. I'm going to put Twitch down that below too as well. So, if you like what I say here, man, just, just like I said before, just go throw me a like and comment and all that stuff. And then also follow me on Twitter. All right. That's it for me, you guys. I'm going to see you guys next week, hopefully. And um, hopefully they come out at a good time. I know this one came out really, really fucking early, like at 5 o'clock in the morning. I was like dead fucking tired. So, um, like I said, that's it for me. I know this this outro is just going for on and on and on, but this is really it for me. So, I'm going to see you guys next week. Talk to you later. Deuces. See you later.